Hi, it's Crea. In today's video, I will briefly show you how you can set up your Clonex Snapchat filter to use it on Google Meet or other live stream or video chats. Before we start, make sure your Snapchat lens is ready. If you haven't made yours yet, check our tutorial video on the Artifact YouTube channel to learn how to create your very own Clonex AR filter. If you already have it, here's what you need to do. Head over to Snap Camera and download the program. It's free and it brings the magic of lenses to your live stream and video chats on PC and Mac. Once downloaded, open Snap Camera. You can see that there are different filters you can try out, but if you want to use your Clonex filter, you need to go to the search bar and enter its URL link. To find the URL link, simply open Lens Studio, head over to My Lenses on the top right corner, and there you will find the artifact lens you recently published and the URL icon to copy the link. Once copied, go back to Snap Camera and paste the URL link. Click the star icon and select your favorites. Click your Clonex lens and if you look at the camera, you'll see that it works. Now, if you go to Google Meet or any other video chat platform and select your camera options, you'll see that Snap Camera is now available. And if you click it, voila! You have selected your very own Clonex avatar as your AR filter. However, in case this doesn't work the first try and you get the no available camera input error message, don't worry, here's an easy fix. First, on Snap Camera, turn off Show Snap Code Overlay. Head back to Google Meet and go to More Options, Settings, Video and select Snap Camera. Go to your application bar, right click on the camera icon and quit. Now, head back to Snap Camera once again and you will see that it works.